Hi, I'm Matt Smith and I'm with Family First Life. I'm here to talk to you about the mortgage equity close. And with these scenarios, what you're going to run into is people that can't afford the full mortgage protection amount. You're going to meet people that are unhealthy and can't take on a traditional mortgage protection policy. And we'll go over some single clients where uh, maybe the, it comes down to affordability, but they, they don't have a significant other or spouse that live in the house. So the first thing we're going to do is we determine based off of the financial inventory that they have a $200,000 mortgage that is $1,300 a month. We ask John and, and Mary, we say, hey, how much is your house worth? It's worth $250,000. And I make sure and I tell people, here's what people do based off of your circumstances. And we find out through financial inventory that, you know, on average, you know, maybe a seven-year-old has $10,000 worth of cash reserve in the bank account. Generally speaking, for these unhealthy clients that are older, uh, they just don't have a very large net worth. In fact, most of their net worth is wrapped up in their mortgage, which is their number one asset. So I'm going to have a conversation and I'm going to make sure and paint a picture with words and, and kill them on paper in the house. So what I mean is, I'll say, John, you know, what age did your parents pass? My dad passed at 80, my mom passed at, you know, 83. Well, let's say you die a little bit sooner than we hoped for, John. You died at age 82. So I, I, I mark it down on a graph right here on the back of a piece of paper, just like that. I'm going to say you pay a lot of the interest up front, John, and you're probably going to owe on your mortgage about $145,000. And I tell John, I say, listen, the good news is because your house is going to appreciate over the next several years, your house is probably going to go from $250,000 to $315,000. So what you're going to create, John, at 82, you know, when you die, is you're going to have about $170,000 in the bank account being able to transfer to Mary upon your death. Now the, now the problem is, is generally speaking because of where your net worth is, this is going to be spent towards your final expenses, all these different variables of hospitalized costs, etc. So we can't really rely on any savings right now. But what we can do is we can put a $40,000 policy. Uh, because of his health, age, etc. It's going to be a permanent plan, so it doesn't pay if he dies, it pays when he dies. It's $285 a month, which is approximately, you know, 30 months of his mortgage payment at $1,300 a month. What the $40,000 is going to do for John is he's not spending $285 for the $40,000. John, you're spending that $285 for the $40,000 plus the $170,000 of equity. So really, that $285 a month is worth $210,000 worth of benefit to your family when you die. Can you see how this might makes financial sense? And it'll say yes, and then you just close and, and get the driver's license. So as soon as I explain that he's not, you know, the crucial aspect of this sale is he's not paying $285 just for the, the coverage, he's paying it for the equity, that's where that value exchanges the price. And, and here's, here's where you're going to see this being a very effective scenario. So I'm going to say, John, what this $40,000 can do for you, it will allow you to A, refinance your house, put the money down, and bring down your $200,000 mortgage to maybe a $100,000 mortgage. Make it more affordable so she can live here comfortably. It could also give her you know, two and a half years worth of mortgage payments where she can live comfortably so she can take this $170,000 and go to another house and maybe pay cash for it, downsize, have some money, turn it into a retirement account that can pay her income for the rest of her life. She would have more options. Or, you know, if you're my if you're my mother, uh, I would tell you you could actually reverse the mortgage. Now, the reason I say if you were my mother, you could reverse the mortgage is that's a bad word to a lot of people. Reversing the mortgage, I just say I would rather have three different options than being forced into trying to fire sell the house, losing all your network that you've worked so hard for, and you could reverse the mortgage, be below 55% of the value of the home, and you're eligible to reverse the mortgage after age 62. So you can reverse this mortgage, eliminate the $1,300 altogether, and that's the reason why you filled out the form to begin with. So do you see how this 285 not only gives you the 40 grand, it saves your equity, it will either give you time, a refinance, or reverse the mortgage. Can you see how that makes financial sense? They'll say yes. You just say, I just need your driver's license, and then you get into asking all the questions on the, on the application. Uh, as far as single clients, 
a lot of times this can be a very effective way because maybe their why isn't as big. Maybe it's uh, just for their adult children, their, their older, etc. Well, these are ways that you can create more value to say, okay, you've worked hard for that equity in your house, now we want to pass it down because legacy is one of, one of the five retirement fears that people want to leave. So having your legacy go to other people, you need to make sure you, you tie down who those people are, get to know their names, to, of the children, make sure that they understand that they can get this money tax free. It's going to avoid probate. It's maybe they need to fix up the house to pull more equity out. But having something in place when they die is much better than doing nothing at all. The other thing that I would tell you is the, the only objection that you may really get is, hey, I filled out this form for the whole mortgage, or hey, I forty thousand dollars isn't that much, or maybe they can only afford twenty five thousand, whatever the scenario might be. And generally speaking, these clients' net worth might be $10,000, generally speaking. So when, when they say, hey, it's just not that much benefit to me, I say, John, you know, Mary, you, you've, you've, the last 70 years, you've accumulated about $10,000 in your bank account. So if I, right now, John, stuck $40,000 into your checking account, Mary would be ecstatic. In fact, if, if you were still here and I put $40,000 in your bank account right now, you'd be ecstatic. Would you agree? What, you just wait for their reaction? Because the, the fact of the matter is $40,000 compared to ten dollars is a lot more money. So I would argue that two eighty five dollars is a great deal for where you're at financially. And you're not in a position to say no at this point. You don't have the finances to not take action on this. It's, it's time to take action because 10 years ago, this was a rash decision. Today, it makes financial sense. Would you agree? Yes. Get the driver's license, get an application. And that is the mortgage equity close.